All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're doing experiment 15 today. It's on the board here. It's backwards. That may fix when we render the video. And we're going to look at it on our computer if I can find it. There it is. So we're doing a Diels Alder reaction. Diels Alder, two German gentlemen. Otto Diels and Kurt Alder. And we're doing it between maleic anhydride and anthracene. Maleic anhydride is this species here. Anthracene is this species here. It has nothing to do with anthrax. And this product here is called anthracene, maleic anhydride, Diels alder. I love this name. It's incredibly long though. Alder and the best portmanteau of the day. I love this portmanteau. What does portmanteau mean? Portmanteau, a word made by joining two words together. Okay? Some of my favorite words are portmanteau. They have and portmanteau itself is a portmanteau. Uh port is a door and a manto is a uh, a cloak a door to a cloak is a portmanteau for some reason i don't even know so we got deals all their adduct what two words did i glue together to make adduct addition product it's a beautiful word isn't it i would have to say a condensation reaction went towards making the word Addition product, you lost the ition and the pra, the prod. <laughs> so that's the condensation piece, and then the rest is what's glued together. Okay, but this is not a condensation up here. This is an, what kind of reaction? An addition reaction. An addition reaction. And it says why. Well, it says the Diels Alder reaction is the most elegant reaction in organic chemistry. And why? And we mentioned it during the lecture. We couldn't do the Zoom earlier because we had technical issues. Simultaneous formation of two new, what are those new red bonds called? Sigma bonds. How do I make an S into a sigma symbol? Oh, it's symbol. I can't get my fonts because my Zoom stuff's in the way and I can't move my box. <sighs> my Zooms are right under my screen share notification, which you can't, there it is. And symbol. Simultaneous formation of two new sigma bonds between what two carbons? C1 to C what? One is not bonded to four. Oh, one, to one to six is a new bond. And C4 to C5. New pi between two and three, right? C2 to C3. CC. New pi. Symbol font. There we go. And that's the answer to the question right there. Why? There's your answer. I don't know. Let me get, make it stick out a little bit. Okay. Now, your book doesn't use this name, but this name really helps when you Google to find the melting point, which you are forced to do. There's a, a, a box on your report form that says melting point from the web. Okay, so use this as your Google search and you'll find you'll find some pretty good student lab reports, which are references. Okay, I think one was from Franklin University. I was I was particularly pleased with that one. I don't know if it's still out there. Okay, 
and your book doesn't call it this thing. Somebody say the name of the product so I can type it. It's in the title of the experiment if you want to know. 910-dihydroanthracene. That means anthracene has two extra hydrogens compared to normal anthracene. Dash. 910, so carbons 9 and 10 also have succinic acid. Sorry, alpha, beta. Alpha, beta, no primes or anything. Yep. Okay, alpha, beta here. And that's the symbol font. That's a longish name, isn't it? Now my my students who are going to have 242 with me are going to learn about succinic acid. And for future reference, my poor oxygen up there got written over. There we go. For future reference, succinic acid is this. It's got four carbons. That is succinic acid. And if you're looking for succinic acid anhydride, you remove water. Do not remove just O. Remove water. So O and two H's. Minus water is that. And what's the name of that species there? Minus water. Succinic anhydride. The name of that species. All right. And of course, the enemy, if you add water to it, we're going the other way. Uh, well, we don't like these chemical warnings. That's plus water, right? So what are the names of these two reactions? Uh, taking this molecule and losing water. What do you call a reaction that removes water from a species? Dehydration. And there's no E there. And what's the opposite of dehydration? I'm copy pasting. Hydration. This is today. Today. I'm using this word a lot lately. I don't know why. It's haram. Well, yeah, water. Water is the enemy of all anhydrides. Why? There's the answer. Right there. There's the answer right there. Hydration of the uh, anhydride gives you succinic acid, and I don't want succinic acid in my product. All right. Uh, the mechanism for that is on your final mechanism at Moodle in the final exam study guide area. There you go. I'll leave you for the hydration mechanism. Sometimes we have to learn what the enemy is to avoid it, right? So that one will be on there. It's not a hard mechanism. You'll see it. And I just want to let you know that that name is for that guy up there, right? Alternate name here. Two names for the same thing. And how are we keeping water out of our reaction? We put a drying tube on top. Calcium sulfate in there traps any water from the air before it enters your system. Keeps water out. You're not making water during the reaction, so you're not worried about that, right? Okay.
We're heating at 138, which is the boiling point of xylene, even though your, your temperature on your hot, uh, hot plates is closer to 200, right? But you always have to heat something above the boiling point to get it to boil. That's that. So whatever your hot plate says is not the temperature of the reaction. The boiling point is the temperature of the reaction. And what do we call the reaction when we're boiling and then condensing to the same location? Boiling again, condensing to the same location? That's a name. What is the name of this? Reflux. And let's take a look back to experiment three. We did a similar thing, but we boiled in one location and condensed it in another location. There's a name for that. Distillation, not reflux. Reflux returns to the original flask. Nothing is ever lost. Distillation, you're losing stuff and condensing it somewhere else in a pure form, we hope. And there's other videos on Diels Alder. Please watch them. They talk about endo versus exo products. And the conditions that make this reaction require a lot less heat than the original reaction I had on the board, and you don't see here. But it was just the uh, purple with the black. There was no pink on it. Okay. And it, that would took over 400 degrees, and we talked about it. And you'll read about in the other videos why this one takes a lot less heat. There may be a test question on it. And I think that's all we need to say because our reaction's almost over.